Hello, riders. It's Josh from CycleHunters.com. Today, we're checking out a 2010 Kawasaki ZX-10R. What a cool-looking bike. And all you guys who are sports bikes fans, you already know. Championship winner for many years. Johnny Ray has been racing these bikes in the uh, World Superbike Championship. And Kawasaki's been racking up the... The trophies for first place it's been a pretty dominant motorcycle in the superbike class even in the AMA series as well it's been a great bike so as we get into this one yes there are gonna be some blemishes but at the same time you can see that this bike looks pretty doggone good right off the bat couple little things you can see I think they're really tasteful, and I love Cali Green, so you can see that it has the green brake lines and the wheel tape, and for the phone mount, it has the little green gel holder in green as well, but besides that, there's no more color on the bike other than that, and we do have some dipped mirrors, front fender, with the skull pattern as re as well as the rear hugger but paint on this it is um, anthracite it's like a black gun metal you can kind of see it right there it's got a little bit of that uh, pearl the most outstanding blemish would be this one here on the frame this does have the t-rex uh, frame sliders and the M4 exhaust, which we're going to hear that in a little bit. You can see the scrape there. A couple little scuffs. But most of all, it is in really great condition. Now, one of the things that we do, ooh, you can see how the tank protector's there. This also has the Vortex quick gas cap. Ulan steering damper, real nice touch. Ulan's makes pretty much the best stuff out there. But uh, as I was saying, now this bike uh, has gone through one of our more extensive services because it's a higher mileage bike, and I'll show you. But Matt went through it, it did the valve adjustment, so it had the motor apart. Making sure everything is as tip-top as we can make it, as you know. We do a 48-point check. We've been growing that list through the past several years so that we make sure, beyond the shadow of a doubt, when you get something from us, thecyclehunters.com, it's as close to new as we can make it, even though that it may have higher mileage on it. It doesn't make a difference to us. We treat them all the same. We tr really, truly try to make every experience as optimal as possible uh, there's this little one right there right there you know besides that on this bike there's really not a whole lot going on scratch wise what I've shown you you know you have the occasional little scuff you know throwing your leg over top you're gonna scratch that sometimes uh, you know sometimes it'll polish out sometimes it's gouged a little bit but but beyond that those are the blemishes Controls on this bike are pretty pretty simple. You can see the levers here too, the aftermarket lever. You know, you have your high beam, low beam, your lap timer, your lap counter, your turn signal indicator left, right, and your, your horn. This side has your on off, your start stop, for your uh, lap timer and your ignition. Now, before we do that, this bike has 45,606 miles on it. You can see that it has a flashing oil indicator so that it will go away when you start the bike. Your gear indicator up there. Um, your neutral light, as you can see there. Uh, you can also see it has a temp gauge odometer of course your speedometer 
And then your ancillary gauge is onto the side, like, you know, low gas light, that type of thing. So let's start this up. Hmm, do I have to pull the clutch or not? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna do this. Hang with me here. Guess what? I may not have to, because I have to turn it on first. And you don't have to pull the clutch. It fires up right away. Sounds like a Cali. <laughs> M4 exhaust is really cool. You see your high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. Left front. Left rear. Right front. Right rear. Foot brake. Hand brake. That sounds angry. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, that sounds really, really angry. <laughs> Very aggressive. It's funny, you know, each bike has its own distinctive sound. I should say each manufacturer. Each bike does too, to some degree, but each manufacturer has their own, for some reason, it's got their own flavor of a sound. And if you've been around bikes long enough, you can probably tell the difference between the Honda, the Kawasaki, the Suzuki, Yamaha, the Ducati, of course, that lower twin rumble. And if you're into the V4s, it still does sort of the sound like a, a, a twin due to the twin pulse. But again, you know, they all have their, their characteristics and they do sound distinctive enough that, you know, you can kind of close your eyes and tell what they are. And I can absolutely tell you right away that that sounds like a Cowie. Sounds really good when it's opened up like that. Excellent. So, again, really great bike overall. Higher mileage. It does have the valve job, the valve adjustment. Everything is gone over as meticulously as we possibly can so that when you get a bike from us, it's as close to 100% as we can make it. Good looking 1,000cc. Super bike. A lot of tread on the tire. Good, good meat. So you're going to have lots of miles of smiles. Now, every one of our bikes gets a 48 point checklist. So, like I said, we go over them as best as we can so that when you get it, you jump on it, thumb the starter, and you get going down the road. So, there's not a whole lot that you have to really be thinking about other than. The road in front of you and keeping an eye on behind you and to the sides obviously so just riding safely charging system steering bearings you know anything that we can look at to ensure that the bike leaves here in tip-top uh, condition we do that and this one is a ripping bike it sounds awesome going up the street runs really smoothly uh, and very aggressive, I might add, because it is a, it is a, you know, the race bike for that year, for the 2010 year. This was the platform that the Kawasaki racing team and the other racing teams around the nation, when they used the Kawasaki ZX-10, they would get a bike like that, tear it down for all the turn signals, lights, mirrors, and some of the body work. They'd replace it with, you know, uh, race body work. You know, the lights, obviously, they're going to remove those because... You don't want any of these parts on the bike that, you know, you know, add weight. So this is that platform. Any of the bikes that you're buying that are the super bikes, super sports, you know, they're homologated. So their rules say that you have to manufacture so many per year in order to race them. Well, this is that bike for the 2010 year. Gorgeous machine. But if you want to ride a sport bike all day, you know, it's a little bit more hardcore than it would be if you were riding something else. Some of us prefer to do that because we just enjoy it. And nothing wrong with it. 
but you could. You could hop on this baby, thumb it to start, just like I did, and get going down the road, enjoying your day. So, if you are digging the 2010 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R, give us a call at 717-273-1809. If you'd like to see the full list of our current inventory, go to www.cyclehunters.com. You can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com. We have aftermarket warranties available. Some financing's op uh, financing options available. We can ship bikes. In some cases, we can deliver them. Uh, it just comes down to what is it that we need to do to help accommodate you so that that gorgeous, lovely machine, aggressive super bike can be in your garage, ready waiting for you to thumb it and get going down the road. Yep. It's always a fun time on a sport bike. Look, two wheels and a motor doesn't make a difference, right? So if you guys have a favorite, whether it be Cowie, manufacturer, whoever, let us know down below in the comments. I'm always curious as to see what people's favorites are. You know, it's all over the place. That's why you have all these different bikes. So many different machines. That's what's awesome about this whole thing about motorcycling. There goes somebody ripping down the street on a little Grom. So it doesn't make a difference what size the bike is. You can have fun. On the small bikes, to the big bikes, to the cruisers, just doesn't matter. What's your flavor? Right? So, until the next bike, happy riding.